It's now 18 minutes to 7 right here on Morning Express. And, well, we want to talk about matters integrity. But before, or rather, as we do that, the National Integrity Alliance will this morning present to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and other members of the Chapter 6 Working Group a list of 20 political aspirants who should be barred from running from office in the August general election due to lack of integrity. According to the alliance, the list has been drawn up to the objective and impartial investigation into their track record in the public service. The alliance will be seeking to indulge, or rather the indulgence of the IEBC and the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission not to clear the 20 aspirants. Let's look at some of the elements that should guide the integrity checks in line with Chapter 6 of the Constitution. But first of all, we'd like to talk to our reporter Raquel Mwigai, who is at the National Archives, and basically would like to talk to a few Kenyans and find out what their thoughts are regarding integrity. When you talk about the threshold, what exactly is the threshold of integrity? Over to you, Raquel. Thank you so much, Michael. We are the Kenya National Archives. Just to find out exactly what Kenyans think about if the standards of outlined in the Chapter 6 of the Constitution and leadership and integrity have been pulled to the core to actually vet this political aspirant that, we'll that we will have on the August 8th vote ballot. So right now I'm joined by some of the Kenyans who are actually waiting for such a moment. And uh, just to move on to my first uh, person who's actually going to comment on this, um, please tell us your name and exactly uh, what you think about the political um, the vetting that has been done. Do you think it has been followed to the core to actually vet this political aspirant? Yeah, my name's uh, Elijah Henda. I'm one of the Bunge Wanaichi Upper Kenya Archives. Now, what I think about Chapter 6 of Constitution is that uh, this chapter, right from day one, was watered down. And therefore, anybody, if you have money, you can just buy, depending on uh, your character or anything. But I tend to believe that... Uh, the institutions charged with these responsibilities, the vetting system, these people have also compromised. And therefore, you realize, for example, people like Anwe Guru can just find themselves eh, being politicians, yet they know what they have done yeah, to, to this country. And nobody... Nobody's questioned them about this. Two, if you look at even our head leaders, which I'm not going to mention, but they know, their integrity is in question. So what I'll say is we should have a strong institution that can actually vet this body, these people, so that we get the right people in place. But so long as we are going to remain with the status quo, huh, I don't think Kenya is going to move anywhere. Um, thank For you. example... Uh -huh. let, me, let, let us just have another person who can be able to just comment on that. Um, can you please tell us your name and what you think about the whole uh, vetting process? My name is Al Patrick. Uh -huh. I'm from Kisi. I'm one of the Manainchi General Secretary Ambassador. But according to the fetting, I don't see whether it can work because the same, same corrupt people, the same, same people who are being corrupted with these scandals, they're the ones who are going to fit for the Kenyans. But I know there are those people who have good ideas, they have good vision for the Kenyans, they can make Kenya to be the pride country, they can make Kenya to be the country for people to be proud of, they can make Kenya to be very successful. You remember one time the Korean government borrowed us a lot of money, very little money, but now it's the government which is just giving us funds. But okay, we, with about the leaders, these are the same, same people who have been in the same, same forest, but they have just changed the forest for just for their own benefits. Let's say for those people who are very corrupt, here comes to these people who are very good in leadership, they have the vision of the Kenyans, but they can be given a scandal for them to be primarily so that they can just spoil their thoughts. 
I thank you so much. If we can have someone else who just comment on that, um, probably you can tell us what you think. Has the standard outlined in Chapter 6 of the Constitution on Leadership and Integrity been followed to the core to, to actually vet this political aspirants? Okay, thank you very much. I'm Tiambo uh, Vincent Orua. And uh, whatever I can say in relation to that is that uh, though the, uh, the vetting should be there because uh, uh, if they are not vetted, that is, we may not know exactly their integrity. Uh, thank you. But do you think it has it has been used to vet the political aspirants that we do Not have? really, because uh, at the same time, these people who do vet sometimes may be corrupt, sometimes may may not do their work the right way. Yeah. Asante sana. Thank you so much. Um, Michael, that is the kind of situation that we do have here. Uh, where Kenyans feel, that's the general feeling of Kenyans here, where the chapter 6 has outlined, uh, that has outlined 